Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you found what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Here we have a Maserati a Gran Turismo with the 4.2 liter V8 engine. It's got double overhead cams on both banks of the engine, four cylinders one side, four cylinders the other side. This car has a built broke situation where if you don't have a certain modification done to your cam holders to help oil stay on top of the head after the engine cools off, you may have wear in your cam variators, one on this side, one on the other side. If that wear begins to happen, you will likely get noise on cold starts and or continuous rattling in your engine. A rattling noise when it starts up. I got a video showing you how to get the valve covers off. Two separate videos, US left side and the right side. And this video talks about having these machined. You can send it to a guy that specializes in this. His information is in the comment section. We send it off to the machine shop they got them maybe before noon. They did their machine job and had them shipped back out that evening. And we got them a day or two later. So very, very fast turnaround on getting these machined. The only difference I can see on these cam holders is that valve that was put in there right there. There was already a hole there. They may have enlarged that hole. I'd have to check the video. You can see there's a little groove right there. They put this valve in there. Look like they put a mark on there to hold that valve in place. Got a couple other marks in there and then uh, shipped it out. I don't see any other changes that was made to this. Uh, there may have been. However, the main thing is they uh, look like they enlarged this hole. This one has not been modified. In the event that doing this is going to save the variators, we won't have any noise at startup. Now, down here, we have, of course, the dual cams. This is the variator here. When these variators wear, they make noise. Now, this valve is supposed to help keep oil up there so that those variators don't have somewhat dry starts. So... That's what this modification is all about. If your vehicle has not had this modification on it, you may want to stop what you're doing and have it done. Either tear into it yourself, send the cam caps off to get modified, or get it to your trusted mechanic or dealer and have them get it done. Because replacing those variators is a lot more extensive job than just having this modification done here. If you got a 10 year old car, you're, you're coming up on valve cover gaskets leaking anyway, possibly. This is common for most cars, I'm not sure if it's common for this one, but you do wanna get this modification done if it hasn't been done so that you can avoid the wear on your cam variators. Both of these have been done, so we're about to reinstall them on the vehicle then put new oil pressure sensors in there, put the chain guide on, and then put the valve covers back on with new valve cover gaskets. So your next video you see will show me doing that. And it's good to use assembly lube in here. If you don't have assembly lube, at least oil them up real good so that you don't have a dry start situation when you fire this engine up. Thanks for watching. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.